What is up, folks? Professor Pickles here. Today, we have an Ixalan box. Um, as you might have seen in the thumbnail, this box is extremely damaged. I've had this one for a while. I actually got it like this, and I wasn't too happy about that because I wasn't really planning on opening this. I was planning on kind of keeping it, but uh, I got one in nicer condition. Um, so, you know, we're not really trying to necessarily make money here. There's not too many good cards actually in this set as far as monetary value goes, but it is always fun to experience part of Magic's history, get some dinosaurs and all that. So we're going to do a box of Ixalan. We do also have an arena code to give away, not from Ixalan, but from a, uh, a recent standard uh, set. If you'd like to be entered to win that, just make sure you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment below letting me you know your favorite card from Ixalan. This box is hard to set up because it's so damaged, but there you go. Very cool green packs here. I believe the most expensive card is the, I just looked for this video, so hopefully I can remember, is uh, the growing rights of Attil Mock or whatever, as of the filming of this video at least, which is uh, November 4th, 2020, right after election day. We'll look at a couple of the commons in the first few packs, but I'm not going to go through every single pack and look at the commons. It's kind of cool to see the artwork and everything, and if any of y'all ever drafted this set, then... Maybe you'll remember some of these cards. Starting off with a Blood Crazed Paladin. Packs open pretty easily. Verdant Rebirth. Cool artwork there with like some merfolk people or, I don't know. Excuse me if those aren't Morpho people. I apologize. Vanquisher's Banner. I actually think this was one of the more expensive cards. This might be the second most expensive rare. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Apparently there were supposed to be uh, lottery cards in this set, but Wizards of the Coast canceled them at the last minute. It was going to be kind of the flippy cards, I believe. Like the, the land slash... Um, I don't know what they are actually, they're, if they're enchantments or lands. We've got a Captivate and Crew in that pack. It would be nice to pull uh, Gislath or whatever his name is. This is the last pack, I'll go through the commons and then we'll just skip to the rare as per normal. Treasure map, very cool. Is this a flip card? It is a flip card, flips to a treasure cove, very nice. If any of you are wondering, my cost basis on this uh, particular box was like $95 or so. So the chances of breaking even here are not very high. Overflowing Insight. Interesting. Definitely playable in Commander. Seven mana to draw seven cards. I mean, not the worst card, actually. I'm sure that sees some play. We have a Goring Ceratops, and I believe we do have our first foil here. A foil mountain, very nice actually. Not really the coolest artwork though, I'm not really a huge fan of that. I mean, actually, it's got some like little pterodactyls in there. No, those are just birds, never mind. I take it back. I'm not a huge fan of that one. Just because like you can't really, not that it's not a good piece of artwork, I'm sure it is, but you just the way the foiling is, you just can't see anything in it, so. Got a sword point diplomacy. Definitely when somebody's pointing a sword at you. And a foil unclaimed territory. Wow, very nice. Um, yeah, I'm actually playing this card in my Sliver Commander deck, so maybe I'll swap this out and put the foil one in there. That's very cool, actually. Okay. I didn't even know that card was in this set, but there it is. I believe that common, or that uncommon is actually... Isn't that worth... I don't know. Maybe not. I know there's so many of those, like lands that tap for any color and everything from different sets and some of the uncommon ones are worth something and some of them aren't sorceress spyglass which i believe saw a reprint in a set very recently this card definitely saw some play back in the day adonto vanguard definitely did and we got an admiral beckett brass it's very very cool artwork there very good artwork actually damn so much detail on that that's absolutely gorgeous Pirate Legend. Uh, I mean, that's that actually could be a good card. I like that. That's cool. Some very playable commander cards in Ixalan. 
They're just not the powerhouses that are in Rivals of Exelon. That's why that one is, you know, those boxes are a bit more expensive than these ones currently, at least. Got a Sanctum Seeker. Cool little undead vampire horse action there. Maybe the horse isn't dead. I don't know. Got a hostage taker, a pirate to go along with good old Admiral Beckett there. All right, after this pack, we are one third of the way through the box. I'm actually having fun opening this. It's kind of cool to see the all these. Uh, we haven't pulled too many dinosaurs yet, actually, but I've pulled some cool knights. I also really like the these packs there. The green is kind of cool. It's definitely different from the War of the Spark green. Rootbound Craig, our first of the land cycle. Man, you really do not get a lot of foils in these packs compared to recent sets. They definitely upped the rate of foilage after... Oh, wow, we did get it. Wow, very nice. Growing Rights of Attilmok, the most expensive card in the set. Very, very nice. We will look at the other side. It's a flip, I believe. Yes, there it is. Beautiful. Pretty much flips in, yeah, it's a makeshift guy's cradle, pretty much. Very cool. We've got a rampaging Ferocidon. Players can't gain life. That's actually interesting. And a foil rummaging goblin. All right, pretty much halfway through the box now. Got a Revel in Riches. Tilonali's Skin Shifter. Interesting, a Hunter Shaman. And a Foil Rare is Captain Lannery Storm. Probably not the best Foil Rare, but goes along with the Captain uh kind of feel we've had in this box opening so far there's an unclaimed territory and a jace i don't think this is one of the more expensive jaces but it is a jace nonetheless very cool for mythic number three if any of y'all are still watching let me know in the comments i'm interested to uh to see who y'all are who kind of watch a little bit longer into the videos than most I can, you know, see the percentage of people who watch this far based on the analytics, but I'm interested to know who y'all are, my, uh, all my viewers. And if any of you have any questions for me or anything about my collection or any kind of videos you want to see, definitely let me know in the comments about that. Got a Burning Suns avatar. There's a dinosaur. Um, I do respond to any and all comments if you ask me a question or something like that, so... Yeah, let me know what y'all are thinking and what y'all want to see or what y'all want to know. Got a fell flagship for our vehicle. A lot of vehicles in this era. This was kind of right after the you know, Kala Dash and all the vehicles and everything that were in there. Whoops, sorry about that. Oh, what? That's weird. Okay, the foil is after or before the rare. And we have a Conqueror's Galleon. Wow, that really threw me off there. Another flip land. Interesting. That was weird, that order of that pack. Would really love to see a Sun's Avatar. That would be nice to pull a Growing Rights and one of those. Got another Vampire. A lot of Vampires in this set, actually. I can see why, before this set rotated out, when uh, Core 20 was printed and they had that sore, and I can see why there's a lot of vampire decks going around then. Ashes of the Abhorrent. Oh, wow, and a foil mythic. We've gotten such good luck with the foil mythics and everything lately. Oh, my goodness. If only I could have been like a foil sun's avatar or something, but that is insane. If you haven't seen, whoa, if you haven't seen the, the uh, 
Modern Horizons box opening that we just had not too long ago. Or not, yeah, Modern Horizons. It was just an absolutely insane opening. I will go ahead and link that and some other videos up in the eye in the upper right corner of your screen. So check those out if you're interested. Got a Warden of Waves. This one's actually seen some play, I'm pretty sure. Damn, I can't believe we got a Spoil Mythic. That's that's awesome. The damaged box trend continues. We always, we always get good pulls out of the damaged boxes. Sun Petal Grow for our second of the uh, check lands, I believe those are called. There's a dinosaur. Cool artwork on that one. And we got a Vraska's Content. Regisaur Alpha. Very cool. I feel like there's definitely some pretty good uh, Dinosaur Commander decks. If any of y'all are playing a Dinosaur Commander deck, let me know in the comments. I'm very interested to uh, to hear. Or if you're playing a Dinosaur deck in a different game mode, then I definitely want to hear about it too if you're making that work. Shadowed Caravel. I don't know if I said that right, but... This pile of comments is getting pretty high. We'll see if I knock it over. I won't move it. We'll, it'll be it'll be a challenge. We got another. That's actually not a vampire, but that guy looks very vampire-esque. An enchantment. That is a flip one, I believe. Yep. Temple of Al Alcazots. All right. So we've gotten a lot of the uh, kind of flip cards here, which is very cool. And an old growth dryads. As I drop those uncommons, I'll just leave them there. Sharp Shapers Sanctuary. Oh, sorry, and a foil dire fleet hoarder. I'm falling apart here at the end. These, these piles are getting so big, I just I can't reach over, but I'm not going to move them. We'll see if I can do it without knocking it over. It's late in the video, and I guess nobody's watching here. Let me know if you are, though. I'm interested to hear. Deep Root Champion. Can we pull one more Mythic? That'd be nice. We've only gotten three regular Mythics. If we could just top this off with a Sun's Avatar at the end, that would be just the icing on the cake for this box. River's Rebuke. Two more packs. Thanks for watching. Please do consider leaving a like on the video, comment below, and uh, subscribing to the channel. It definitely helps out a lot. Got a Sun's Avatar. Okay, so we did get a Sun's Avatar. So I, I got what I was asking for, but I, I don't think this is the. That's not the, uh, the mythic one. Maybe I have the name wrong. Maybe it's not Sun's Avatar, but it, I know it starts with a G. I forget the name. It's slipping my mind right now. Maybe we can pull it in this last pack. And ending on a Sanguine Sacrament. We do a foil, though. Shapers of Nature. Alrighty. Well, thank you for watching, folks. Uh, please do consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video, as I said. And uh, check out some of the videos in the eye there. I'll link some other stuff up there for you, including that crazy Modern Horizons box. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.